meantime. If you have your textbook with you, please turn it to page 68. As we've already discussed, the dot, this dot, separates the cents from the dollars. So here we have $35.25. But remember, we never use both symbols at the same time, okay? So either we use this without the cent, or we just use the cents, okay? Let's practice. Dollars and cents. Read the prices of these items. Fill in the missing numbers. This is a toaster to toast bread. Okay, so we have this, so that's the dollar, and here's the cent. Pretty easy, right? So your answer here should be $35. And here, what should it be? 25 cents. Correct. Next, how much money is there in each set? So I haven't shown you this, but this is a $50 bill or $50, $10, and another 10 so basically, we just add everything. So 50 plus 10 plus 10 is... And then we add 1, 2, 3, 4. What do we get? $74. And then here, we have these coins. What are these coins? Is this a penny, a nickel, a dime, or a quarter? Yes, these are dimes. 10 cents times 4 is 40 cents. We can also write it like this. Right. Okay, moving on. How much money is there in each set? Again, we have $5.00. One dollar and another dollar. And here we have different coins. We have a dime, a penny, and quarters. So let's start counting the, the paper money first because those are in dollars. The answer is yes, seven. And how about the coins? Or the cents so two quarters so that's 25 and 25 plus a dime which is 10 plus one dollar one cent or a pe or a penny yes so how many cents do we have now we have 61 cents so we can also write it like this $7.61. Now, let's move on to number six. How much money is there? Six quarters is equal to... Let's remember, how much is a quarter? One quarter is 25 cents. So, what's the answer here? $1.55. One dollar is equivalent to a hundred cents. Write one twenty-five in cents. So since this is a hundred, how can we write that in cents? Yes, we write it as one hundred twenty-five cents or one dollar twenty-five cents. How about this? Write one hundred seventy cents in dollars. And in cents, I'll give you five seconds. The answer is one dollar seventy cents. Page sixty-nine. Here, let's write this in cents.
Remember, one dollar is equal to 100 cents. The answer is 30 cents. And this one will do it the other way around. How do you write this in dollar and cents? 85 cents is equivalent to... Yes, you see we have the dollar sign here, the decimal point there, and the number. I hope you can answer the other letters on your own. Okay, now let's turn our books to page 70. How much money is needed to make one dollar? 70 cents plus is equal to one dollar. The answer is yes, 30 cents. 55 cents plus dollar is one dollar. Your answer should be 45 cents. So don't forget to put the decimal point if you're using the dollar sign. Okay? Now, Lily has six quarters and 12 nickels. How much money does she have all together? So for visualization, here we are. We have six quarters here. We already knew that that is how much? Yes, $1.50. And 12 nickels is equivalent to... How much is one nickel? One nickel is 5 cents. Therefore, 12 nickels is equivalent to... I'll give you 5 seconds. The answer is 60 cents. Because we multiply one nickel to 12 so that's five nickels or five cents times 12 yeah all right so here what we should do is we just put them all together because it says here how much money does she have all together so obviously we will add or subtract we will add so one dollar and fifty cents plus sixty cents is equivalent to two dollar and ten cents so what we should say is we should answer in a sentence lily has because as you can see here it says lily has two dollars and ten cents which is our answer and then we can just write in all together Lily has two dollars and ten cents all together. Yes, there you go. So that's the answer to this word problem. I hope this helped you understand solving problems and in relation to money. Speed review time. Can you answer these quickly? Let's begin. 50 cents. 50 dollars. A nickel is 5 cents. Is this correct? No. A dime. Did you answer it all correctly? Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!